Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about scalars and vectors. Now it's important to know the difference between a scalar and a vector, uh, so when you're explaining if something has a direction or not or giving it the right sign um, when you're doing your calculations. Now a scalar quantity is one that only has magnitude and things like that are time, distance, and when I say distance it's important to say sort of like distance travelled. So even though I've gone there and back again, the total distance I have travelled is this amount. Speed is also a scalar quantity, so that is like going at 40 miles per hour. And other ones include energy and other things like mass, etc. Now, a vector quantity, not only does it have a magnitude, it also has a direction. And by direction, I mean it works at a certain degree or a certain way. So force, for example, is, has a magnitude in a direction. I am going to put 10 newtons this way, or I'm going to put 10 newtons up, or I'm going to put it at 30 degrees this way, etc. It has a direction. Velocity is also a vector and it's slightly different from a speed. So speed is saying like 40 miles per hour or uh, that kind of thing here. Velocity has a direction. If I say I'm going two meters per second and this way was positive, I am moving two meters per second this way. But if I said I was going minus two meters per second and that way was still positive, it means I'm moving two meters per second in the other direction. And this means there must be a distance that is related to this positive and negative, and it is, it's called displacement. So it's important that you know the difference between a vector and a scalar quantity. Now the one that seems the oddest is energy. Energy can be plus or minus, because you can give it out or take it in. However, it doesn't actually have a direction. It's either out or in. There's no 30 working in 30 degrees this way or 40 degrees un under the horizontal or something like that. There is none of that. It's just either out or in, which is why it is a scalar quantity. It is a magnitude that we look at in relation to where it is. So it is a scalar quantity, not a vector quantity. And that is the di differences between scalar and vector.